company. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I've posted a, char a picture here of uh, one of our favorite guests and one we've had many years ago. The one on the left is Bill Chapman. He's a stock index trader. We've had him as a guest here before, but the guy on the right, I know you know who he is. That's Bill Meridian, also known as Bill Cerubi. Bill Meridian is his pen name because when he was on Wall Street, they didn't want him using his real name. So he used a pen name as Bill Meridian. And, of course, he went to work in Saudi uh, – well, uh, actually was in let's call it Middle East and uh, he was there for 12 years where he worked with the folks from the um, uh, people from Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and Dubai uh, for many years now he's out on his own but I have to share you this one picture that going through the old files I thought was pretty interesting this is <laughs> this is from 40 years ago folks in California the guy on the left is my very dearest and best friend uh, Byron Tucker and that's me on the right. Uh, you notice that he's carrying the gun, and we were out hunting the famous California grizzly, also known as a Folger can. We were shooting cans up on John Raffoni's ranch just above uh, San Luis Obispo. It has a 100-acre ranch that's still there doing the same thing. It's got a little lake on it for fishing and stuff, but we used to do our little hanging around boy stuff at that point. But uh, I sent that to Byron. He couldn't stop laughing. He said, my God, has it been that long ago? And I said, you got it, Bubba. All right, let's look at what's happening today, folks. We had a lot of things going. To me, this is really important. Important, folks. This is the cover of Barron's magazine. Barron's actually has a better uh, track record than Time magazine for bottoms and tops. And of course, they're saying here that NVIDIA is the way to go because it's a $3 trillion company, largest valuation past Apple. And uh, my goodness, when you see that, that should scare you to death. But who knows? We're or worry about that, you know, <laughs> and we'll see what we're going on here. All right, we'll get up to the charts here right now. We had a couple of real interesting things going on today. I will get this cash S&P uh, out of here for just a second because we want to be <clears throat> watching what's been happening here with the uh, – uh, treasury bonds and things. This is a treasury bond. We had our trade today to buy if we took out that low, and we did. And the reason why is the treasury notes, we'll get up and take a quick look at those, did not make that same low. It made a better, higher bottom, just the exact opposite of what happened the previous time. We were looking at the open interest, and it said, this is where you've really got a chance to see if it's going to work or not. So this is what we were doing. Let's get the TY up here, and you'll be able to see it real quickly. <clears throat> now, you'll notice here here's where we were with the ty you know see there was a low on friday you see today's low was much higher so it's reversing the process but that was what we were waiting for and as you can see there's your your abcd pattern coming in here uh, right at the uh, 786 okay the s yes, the uh, the dow made a lower low which is good by just a couple of ticks one tick actually the old low was 10 and made a low, low of 9, and we said to buy at 10, and so it's trading at 10 right now, so that's been a good run so far. But it's all it's all based on the amount of money that you risk, folks, not how much money you make. It's how much money you have to risk and see if, uh, if you're going to be right or not. That's the main thing that we're uh, paying attention to here as we're watching these things here unfold. Okay, now we're going to uh, move over here for just a little bit. And look at another one here. Uh, might not work, but by golly, this is one that we, we talked about real early in the morning. <clears throat> there was a 382 here uh, in the gold here at 2610. Well, you got to risk $10. The high was uh, 1890, and we're in it at uh, 2610. So we're out about 400 bucks in that. But this is this is an exact move, folks. You see that swing right there? That equals to that one did right here. Uh, almost to the exact penny. It was the exact penny, actually. And so that's why we sold it there. And we had our, we were talking about it 
early in the morning because this is where you can see this is today's action right here on the 18th, okay? And I said the, we, when I sent the video out, I said there are three things that's telling you this is probably going to get there, and that's because of this swing right here. You see the first swing making the ABCD here on Friday, okay? Then you have another. You have the same high right here. You have the pullback. Okay, then you have the run up and there's your key right there, that spot. You go back to the last low right here and if you mark this from your low to your high, takes you right to the promised land, folks, Mr. 382 itself. And there it is right there at 84 and we said it's probably going to get up here and it certainly has certainly done that. And as you can see, this one unfolding, <clears throat> as we look at this as the next, this is your first A, B, C, D to the downside, all right? Then you have the move up and the pull back. That means you have an A, B, C, D to the upside. So all we're going to do now, I know it's boring to a lot of you folks, but it ain't boring to me. And it's my show, so like, oh, what his name is. And so that measured to 26.08. And, of course, we went, you know, a great deal higher. Uh, and I think that's based on this larger A, B, C, D that we were looking in here. So we are short from 26.10. Our stop is right above here. And remember, looking at this, folks, on the really long-term pattern here, that's the 382 on that long-term pattern. Just bring it back here. If you were high, way back here, 28.10. Uh oh, I darn, I thought it was. No, it's a secondary high. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoops. It was a secondary high. This was right here. <clears throat> Let's get it right there. I believe that's the one. You know what? It might have been this one right here. What am I doing, Larry? I know I, I, that's why I was banging on this. This is what I was basing it on, so it has to be this. Let's get up here. I'm going to lose my job here. For, there it is, yeah. Uh, there it is right there. That's what we we're basing it on, that particular pattern right here. It was this high right here, not this big high back here. But this is the same $70 run, okay, $70 run. And remember, the harmonic number in the gold is 36, so 2 times 72. So that's really pretty much spot on uh, to what – well, it might even be spot on. The low was 40, so you add 72 to that. That takes you to 12, so that's pretty close to – where we sold it. So that's what we're really paying attention to here as we're watching these things here uh, unfold here this morning. Now, here was another one that we talked last talked about last night, and that was the huge run-up in uh, natural gas last night, Sunday night. You see a big run-up, and you look at these little 382s all the way down, and we said, look to be a buyer right here, and you had a buy. It rallied up, okay? You, you bought it here, you stopped below here, and so far... It is up about uh, seven hundred dollars on that on that particular trade right here. You're risking four hundred. It went uh, a couple hundred dollars. Well, not yeah, what two hundred three hundred dollars lower. Stops got to believe be below the fifty percent level. All it did was fill the gap, and now it's you know having another run. But here was another spot here. Remember, this is just an eight minute. But there's your secondary chance. You see this big run up like this. The first thing you want to do is when you see a big run up like that. John used to call that the yum yum. There, I'm going to be talking about that on Friday's show. There is your pullback right here, right at the 382. Look at that. It's hardly any risk. There's a new high. Hey, let's take a break and see what we can come up with next. 877 2865 <laughs> Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. 
educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the open and call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Okay, folks, um, this was our number two trade for the day. The number one trade was the Treasury bonds, um, basically on looking at the open interest and the 786 retracements on the daily and the bonds and notes. That was the number one trade. This was the number two trade because making new lows now in the crude oil gap down here Sunday night. In fact, when we when we sent this out, this was a, a market was down here. It took me about uh, 20 minutes to talk about it. well 10 minutes or so but there's your ABCD pattern measuring almost exactly perfectly to 6649 the low was uh, 6653 uh, four four ticks okay so I said watch the retracement so the first retracement was right here and that's what I did I I bought that 382 it went up it didn't quite reach so I had my stop at break even and I got stopped at break even it came down and then what I was looking for you make a new high you draw the 382 and again so I bought it back here at 6718 with my stop right below here folks this risk was only a hundred and twenty dollars from 18 to 06 margin on the darn thing is six thousand and you're only risking two hundred dollars and you can see how it took off now here was your second key level right here because as it starts to run it's telling you i'm just getting started so you take your last low that you had here and this is what we're going to be talking about friday and you pull it down and there it is right there again and that tells you where you're going boys and girls you're going up here 69.54 1.618 and why do we know that take a look at the last little swing that we had right here we'll move this over this is what we'll be doing all day Friday. And you'll see from this high up to this low, pulls down to the 61% retracement right there. And well, they're 61 to 50, they're both both equal and it's still heading higher. That'll get you up to 69.54. But looking at this on the daily now, people are going to see this at the end of the day. And see, oh my goodness, we went down and took out the lows of last week, okay, which we were said potential double bottom. I had that put in there. I said that's what we were looking at. That's what it did. Took out the lows of October the 28th. How much did it take the low out by? Holy moly, folks. Seven ticks. That's all it took. That low is lower than that one by seven ticks. And looks where we are now. We've taken out the highs of Friday. This is an outside day to the upside. We're almost there. 69.99. There's 69.16, the number we just talked about 
on that other one. So that's uh, you know maybe these short term things don't look bad. Yeah, sixty nine ninety one is right there. We're almost there. So it's going to be there. One point six one eight is right there. Sixty nine fifty four. Anyway, those are the ones that I'm doing as I'm watching it with the new system that I've got. Thanks to my good friends John Jameson and Fleming Danielson over there in uh, Copenhagen. They've made it uh, e easy for me to get away from the Google email so that I can send out videos faster and quicker. And I'm also going to have a Telegram channel uh, coming here pretty quick here so that if I have instant stuff, I can get it out as quickly as possible instantaneously if there is such a thing in these markets. But that's what we're what's what we're watching on uh, right here. So we'll keep a, a very, very close eye on these as we're paying close attention to them. Okay, uh, let's move on here to a couple things that people have asked me about here. Get this up here. They've asked me about Tesla again. I'll get this up here so we can see it. Also, we have to look at the U.S. dollar because it's at a, it's at a real critical level up in here. Something big is going to happen, folks. I don't know what the darn thing is, but we're seeing volatility like we have. Oh, look at Tesla. It's rocking and rolling again, folks. Here's where we were the last couple of days. Let's just let's just play it. Let's play the old play the old game that we always play. Now, uh, you've seen a new high here, correct? You got a low down here, correct? Let's just make sure all the data is correct. Refresh every two weeks. It's all correct. So we're just going to mark it here from your high. What do you th what do you think the odds are of that being 382, boys and girls? What do you think that is? Let's just double check. There's your low right here. There's your high right here. Put that placard up. There's your 1.618 expansion. There's your 382. And you could have bought it yesterday. And you've made, oh, boy, that's a big run. Yeah, you buy those call options at that point. I wouldn't trade this thing without call options because it's three hundred and thirty thousand, three three hundred thirty dollars a share, but left a big, uh, big move up in here. Now the interesting part today is if, by some stretch of the imagination, you see we're closer to the low of the day than we are the high of the day. So if we close down in here, if we close down in here, that would mean that this market would be leaving. Let's just draw it in so we can take a quick look at it. A, the rare, rare, rare pattern called the island reversal. I mean, it is flat out rare. There it is. You can see that. We close. See, where you want it to close today, if you want it to, to, to do, is, as long as it doesn't fill this gap. If it fills this gap, it still has a chance for an island reversal, okay? But if you go down and touch this, then it's not an This is really a rare pattern, but we've got some. See, it looks like there's going to be one here. There isn't. There's no gap here. But, folks, if you look at the charts in the newsletter, you're going to see island reversals in the Dow Jones, the Russell, the S&P 500. Oh, I mean, they're all there. I mean, it's just it, – it, it's one of the most bearish patterns I've seen in my – 23 years or 12 years, 23 years, 12 months or 65 years and eight months. I don't know how long it's been. It's 1959. How many? That's a, that's 65 years. Are you kidding me? Holy moly, guacamole. Where did that time go? That was sure been a hell of a run here. All right. Now, that's what we're watching here. So we'll get rid of the Tesla. And everybody's also wants to know what Apple. And then they were also asking me about Bitcoin. And I'll be happy to get that one up here. Uh, just a second. Here's Apple. We'll get this up on the hourly and see where we are here. So Apple's actually moving up a bit, so that's good. Let's see where we are here with the old numbers. Oh, we got some ABCD action going here uh, in Apple. Move this over a little bit. So there's your high that we made back here at 37. Oh, dear. We've got a Gartley here, folks. Here's where we are right here. Oh, gosh, I got so many things to tell you. I don't remember where I'm going to start from. Hold on right here. That's going to come up right about there. All righty, there's the number. There's your there's your three right here. It's around 2:30 and you got another gap up, so you're probably going to you're going to make this this ABCD without uh, any trouble at all. That's the trouble with these darn stocks. They gap up whereas with the futures, you don't quite uh, do that. Um, we were going over the uh, stuff here at the house um, uh, which is also my office, and I ran into things folks that uh, you would probably uh, you won't believe. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to see if I've got those, if I put them on my desktop or not. Uh, no, I haven't put on a desktop yet, but I will. I, I have a, a list of all of W.D. Gann's works. Uh, what I'll do when we come back from the break, I want to show you 
Uh, the, well, first of all, I have to talk about Bitcoin because Bitcoin is back near the highs again, folks. The 1.618 on this comes in at uh, 94,000. The high had been 93 and change. We're at 92 right now. I thought it had made the 1.618, but I was uh, promptly uh, corrected by three or four of my students telling me, nope, we've got another – you know, four or $500 to go. So we'll watch it there between 94 uh, and 95. So we'll keep a, you know, really, really close eye on that. We have a break coming up here pretty soon. Let's see, I can check with the clock on the wall here to see how we're doing. Oh, 37 seconds is not a much, not a much. But I have some other uh, patterns that I found. The Lindall Wiggle. I'll tell that story on Friday, uh, and also John Hill's Yum Yum Trade. Uh, that's also a really cool. One. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little break. <clears throat> and Frog and I are going to take a break. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keksak's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Okay, folks, this is a sheet from W. D. Gann's teaching thing that he had. I happened to get this from my, my very dear friend, the second student that I ever taught, and his father actually worked with W. D. Gann. So I have these original books. Well, when I was at Drexel Burnham, uh, you remember I started buying gold and silver when I started working for them in uh, August of 76, and of course silver was trading at about – under four dollars and gold was uh i think way way under two hundred dollars i think it was maybe a buck 80 or something like that and so i had uh all these things here and then when my like, back when you were young like i was every year they would either renew your contract or you were out on the street so i was doing pretty good so when they came to renew my contract they asked what would you like and i said well, i'd like to get some of these books and he said you buy whatever you want we'll pay for them and so these were the books that twentyman and i uh, tracked down over a period of about well we got some of them right away others were really difficult but look at the ex ex exorbitant prices folks the books on numerology by clifford case 50 cents 50 cents remember this is uh, printed in, <clears throat> I believe this was 1934, uh, is where this letter came from, and this was just the first ones. We got every single one of these books uh, in our library, Jim and I, and so we have all of them. There were, I think there's a total here, I think there's about 60 of them, 50 or 60. There's the biggest one, but this one book right here, if you'll notice here, it's called a Cicla by William W. Walter, $10. Now look at that, folks. That's 20 times as most of uh, $10 or 20 times more than any other book. We never could find that book, and we looked for years and years and years. It original cost was $25. $25, folks, in, 19, in the 1930s was really a lot of money. But all the other books we have – and uh, well, some of them I've sold uh, through the years. I've you know people come to visit me when I'm teaching them to trade and stuff, and they would see some of these books and they would want to buy it. And one of the fellows one day he was looking for a book, and I had the book, and he offered me some ridiculous price for it. And I said sure, you know, and I gave him a good deal. But anyway, that's the type of things that I've studied. I've got oh. Oh, I don't know so many books I can't even count them well I could count them but I don't want to anyway we'll watch that so let's get back to the markets and see what we've got going here put the charts back up and <clears throat> see where we are okay now we just finished uh, with the apple now let's get over and talk about the currencies come up here and <clears throat> we'll get up here to the currencies here and uh, let's get it right here start out with the, we'll start out here uh, with the uh, euro okay we're going to start out with the euro because euro's trying to make a little bottom in here <clears throat> as you can see here we're having a little bit of a three four five day rally here in the euro which is pretty good and boy you talk about uh, really being uh, shallow this is what we call a shallow rally folks here's where we are let's clean all these out because I've not been doing too much there there's where we were back here we were up at 108 we came down to 105 that's a huge amount of money, folks. We were short the pound the old way down. Now look what we have going here in the uh, in the euro. Now all I have to do to see what those ratios are. Now the trouble is, you see how it puts the ratios in. The problem is, it's not set right. So I have to go to the Pesavento patterns here from our good friends at uh, Ensign that built this for me, and I just move this out of the way like this. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the minimum size here, and you should be able to start to see. Uh, thing to think. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's this one here. No, well, I gotta figure out. I gotta re reset it. Then that's what I gotta do. There's nothing else I can do. It'll reset automatically. It's what what it's too too sensitive. It's not picking up all of the really small smaller patterns because all I'm doing here is I'm looking at this. I want to see what this 382 is off this move right here. And you see it comes up here in another uh, well 40 pips very 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 small and if you look at this from a really small time frame you'll see there's your a b leg right here okay there's your cd leg right here it's still bearish hello operator you know that there's nothing bullish about this we're having a four-day rally at a 3a2 let's just compare for kicks and giggles since we believe that markets repeat themselves and there it is right there and here it is right here and there to be just like in the gold market. So watch it up here at this 106 and change level. If you remember yesterday, we were on the line when we were talking about the wheat market. We were friendly to wheat because it was making a nice ABCD. We'll get that up here in just a second. <clears throat> Boy, wow. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. 
excuse me one second, folks. I want to get the daily up. <clears throat> Whew. Wow. Okay. There was the ABCD pattern completing right down here at 4.30. It's rallied about 19 cents so far off of this ABCD. Now we look at it a little bit clearer here. <clears throat> You'll see from the hot, there was our 382. I took this, I have to take both of them because this is a one, two, three, four day rally. So it's very important. If it's only a one, one, two, three, very important. So that's why I was watching it. Perfect ABCD, AB equals CD, just right on the money, okay? And now we're having a good rally. Now the rally is going to be getting close to the 382 of the high we made, and this is the third day, one, two, three. This is the third day of the rally. So what we're gonna do, <clears throat> sorry folks, <clears throat> this frog is with me, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of this, and we're gonna look at it to see where the next 382 is gonna be coming in. So we wanna find that high right back here. That would've been this one because that's where the high was. You can see there's where it was. So you take this and you mark it from this high down to this low. And you'll see we've already, we're making it right now. Let's just refresh this for the day and we are doing it right now. <clears throat> so my my friends, if you are bullet bear, well, <clears throat> wow. If you are bearish wheat, this is where you want to be getting out because there, there's your first pullback right here. Remember, we want to watch the, the pullbacks as the market's moving. So I'll move this up a little bit. This is the kind of stuff we're going to be doing Friday in the live trading. And there you are from this high right here down to your low. Where does it come to? Today's low right there, folks, the 18th of October. There's your low at 37. It's now, it's almost up to the target already. It's already up 13 cents, so there's not much you can do about it. That would be your, your ABC. You can't get them all, folks. We've done some pretty good ones today, but you just can't get them all. There's just no other way you can do that. <clears throat> so that's what we're paying attention to. Now, someone's asked me in during on the Skype thing to take a look at that SPY that we were looking at before. We'll get that up here to see what's happening because I'm not even watching that too much right now because I'm looking at a little bit larger pattern in here we'll see where we are <clears throat> hold on a second here okay uh, okay please don't do this to me with the oh, oh it's SPX I want XPY Larry open the front door and open your eyes here it's this one right here 30 minute <clears throat> it's still in that same area nothing going on we'll be <clears throat> we'll be right back folks 877 trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
charts and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're going to continue on here with the uh, <clears throat> with the British pound as in our currency. This is the last few days, as you can see. We're going to go to the hourly chart now this has gotten uh, you know bejeebies kicked out of it uh, there's the, the, this, this is <laughs> so folks this thing so bearish it scares me uh, as you look at this here on this long term daily this is where we we sold it right there because that was on the weekly was the big uh, www the big weekly there it is right there there's our price objective because see we were looking for it to duplicate what we had here and look how close we are folks we're almost to that level here we're not very far away that's going to be real and that's at 22 so we're at 26 right now you can see here possible up week see that just the last few days means it's a possible up week so we're going to look here again at the 60 minute well let's go to the four hour make it easy for us there you go that's what i want to see here's the last major high that we had you see this high didn't quite make it so you're going to get rid of that doesn't make anything to do anything but we did make a high right here we took out the highs of the last few days which they tend to do by a tick or two. And now we have a big move down. So this is where I'd really, really like to get back to short this darn thing. And that, my friends, is right there at 127.70. Okay? So that's what I'd be watching uh, right up in here, 127.70. Now, we've come down now from the 5th. We're down two weeks. The last time we had a really big rally here was this right here. This rally right there was a big rally. That was a big rally. Let's take this one, and we'll just measure it. Remember, these markets repeat. This is right out of Andrew Lowe's book, you know, the non-random walk down Wall Street. So this is what we want to be watching. And lo and behold, there's where you are right there. Why is that important now? You have repetition. It looks exactly like that one. Let's clone that. You move these over. You'll be able to see it. This is what Ensign did for me, and I, I did some things for them, but that's I think I've told that story where they came down to Pismo Beach to spend the day and end up staying the whole week, and I had one of those weeks where I did everything right, and they thought I did that all the time. After they left, I don't think I had a winning trade for a month. Well, not quite that bad, but it wasn't nearly when they were there. Anyway, there, there's your 382 coming in right off there. So that number is 12770. I'd shade that by make sure you get in. There's the old high back in here. So it'll probably get there. So that's not very far away, folks. That's only 67. Eh, that's only about, uh, mm, about 100 pips. It could do that on a nice little run here. We can see it's really quiet so far, but we should get there. Now, let's take a look here at the U.S. dollar because this is the one that has the the, the pattern that could change a whole lot of things. Let me get up here. Hey, remember what I'm saying here, folks. I'm looking at this always my opinion. If nothing is ever, never in what do you call, um, 
uh, etched in stone, okay? Ah, there's where we are. Now, this is a possibility now, folks. Here's a U.S. dollar index right here. Now, you see this right here? We went up and we're, we've taken out the highs of the last three days. Whew. Now, the problem is the dollar in these things trade 24 hours, so you hardly ever see a gap. Here's one from uh, from over the weekend, but you hardly ever see a gap. But this has the potential to really be nasty, and the reason for that is because it has that island reversal potential that we've seen here in the S&P and all of the stock indices. And so that's why you want to be watching it very, very closely. And that, again, again, that's my own two cents worth. As we look at this spreading it out a little bit, all we did is we just took out the April highs, and now everybody got really bullish, and now – starting to back off a little bit so you got to be careful because people get super bullish on these things and they have a tendency to return this is your first sign that something's not right i mean it makes a new high and all of a sudden it's backed off quite a bit you know it hasn't even got to the lows of uh, uh yesterday yet so uh, excuse me that wasn't the 18th this was the uh, uh that's the 12th that's uh, uh six days ago so that's uh nothing's really happened as of yet so far nothing bearish about this with the exception of this right here and you can't get a uh, well you can on this because that does this a dollar index from the futures market and it doesn't trade 24 hours not like the the euro and the pound and all these others they all trade uh, 24 hours a day but i don't believe the dollar index does because most of the people i know trade the flats which means pound euro yen and since we're Sorry, folks. <clears throat> Got a little bit of me and this frog are having trouble today. Hold on. I feel good. I just sound like baloney. And many times that's what I feel like I'm doing. Here's the dollar index, right, with the Japanese yen, U.S. dollar with the Japanese yen. Here's where we are right here. Now, as you can see, we're going to blow this up right here. We had a big run up here yesterday. Now we're backing off a little bit. This doesn't mean very much at all, does it? All we're going to do now is we're going to take this and move it to the hourly chart and see how it's holding up to what we're watching. Move this over. There's the hourly chart. All right. So far today, this was yesterday's action. Today you went up. It looks like you made a 50% uh, retracement uh, on a small ABCD pattern. Could be potentially bearish. Right now it looks bearish because – there's your original high right here. There's your low. There's your move back. And uh, it goes a little above the 382. Let's see where the 382 was. Probably close to where we were. Oh, 382 was 382. Then it goes right up to the 50%. And now you can see we dropped a whole handle. That That's quite a bit of money, folks. That's $1,000 here uh, in the Japanese yen. So that's what we want to be uh, paying very, very close attention to here. Remember on these ways up, look at this 382, 382, bada bing, bada boom. And that gives you the ABCD. Over the last few days, there you go, A, B equals C, D, rack them up, and that's what we're watching uh, here right now, okay? Now, I did want to mention something here that someone just said. you got to say what you, what you saw today in the crude oil because it was really quite exciting. Let me get this out of the way here. <clears throat> Hold on just a minute. There it is right here. Let's get up here. I think that was an eight-minute chart I, I was looking at early this morning. Move it over here. Uh, yeah, that was it right here. Here's where we were last night when I early this morning. It's around two in the morning. Well, here I can tell you what time it was. Yeah, it was two in the morning. Uh, three in the uh, two two thirty right here. Three o'clock. Two thirty. Three o'clock. Okay. There's the A B C D from the high we made right back there. There's A B equals C D. Now you notice the A B equals C D has a gap in here. All I was doing when I was showing you the folks the A B C. I'm going to go through this because it's important because. You want to try to be as accurate as possible. So the first thing I did was, okay, let's measure the ABCD pattern right here. So I put the ABCD leg on right here, and you notice it came right down to this level almost. But we had a gap, didn't we? So I said the first thing when you do when you do that is you come up to your, your tool like this, and you mark it. And instead of looking at 1, you want to be 1.27. One, I put 1.20. It's the same difference. There it is right here, 35. The low was 53. Just misses it by a little bit. But that's what we were watching is it got to be pretty close to that level right here. See, the ABCD measures right to there. That gate makes it a little better. And in fact, it just stayed there. It didn't do anything. And if you looked at it real close, 
guess what you were staring at, folks? It gaps below this 1.618, and once we got above it, that's what changed. We're going up here, folks, 69.54, I believe, but again, that's my guess. Let's take a break. Oh, my goodness, the show's almost over. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is the chart of the S&P over the last 15 years. As you can see, the three drive to a bottom, three drive to a top pattern. There's drive one, drive two, drive three, right up here at 600. This is where it was important at 600. The high on the S&P cash, folks, was 600.12. So until she gets it right, I'm not going to use it anymore. Anyway, this is what we're looking at. This has the potential of being something really significant. And when you see that island reversal, that we've seen in all of these stock indices. Everybody bought it into that emotionalism of the new election. Then who knows what's going to happen. But we've got to be 
very, very careful up in here. If we close above this, folks, we could see something that we've never seen before. It would be something like this, maybe even greater. I don't know, but this is a really big one up into here. So we need to pay uh, really super uh, closeness to this, all right? Uh, regarding the uh, seminar that I'm going to be doing, I've we've done some numbers and stuff. It's probably going to be at the end of January. And instead of two days of teaching, it's going to be one day of teaching and three days of live trading in January. I'm not sure the exact dates yet, but I've got the venue just about locked up. I'll have that done in the next two or three days, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, so that's going to be something that we'll look forward to uh, in the new year. So let's remember to do that also. Also, uh, this is the time of the year, the holiday. you got to start helping some people that are having a lot of trouble, even here in Tucson, which is a pretty nice place. There's homeless everywhere. I mean, it's just it's just incredible. I know we have a lot of uh, migrants up here, but there's others, too. There are veterans. You see veterans out there. Maybe some aren't veterans, but, boy, you, you certainly have to empathize with them. But that's it. So live every day uh, in an attitude of gratitude. And may God, by the way, folks, I will not be here this Wednesday, the 20th, or the 27th, okay? Got the old people's time. Anyway, we're going to have some fun uh, tomorrow. Our guest on Friday will be Stan Harley. I know you don't want to miss that. So let's stay tuned, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. <clears throat> and may God bless, and maybe the frog will be gone. No guarantees. Steve Rose.